Oh, everybody. This is Travis Crane again, um, without the mustache. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about interstitial cystitis. Um, this could be my episode two, if you will. Um, as we know, it's a very debilitating and difficult disease to live with. At this point, all of us have heard a lot of different theories about uh, how interstitial cystitis comes to be, that maybe it's an autoimmune thing, and that there's cracks in the bladder, and and uh, and there's all these things we can do to alkalize our body and and not make our body so acidic, so that your pain isn't as bad when you urinate or whatever. And anyway, there's all these different things, but. One thing that I have found that's interesting, and I'm posting this because I feel like it could be beneficial to all of us. Um, I came across a woman online, and I know that online you need to be careful because you can just get yourself into a black hole of information that doesn't make sense. But um, <clears throat> I found a woman by the name of Dr. Ruth Kriz, who is a nurse practitioner. She's out of Washington, D.C., and she has had a lot of success with IC patients. And so I thought, well, well, finally good to hear some good news. And she did some testing on me through uh, a hospital that I live by. And anyway, to make a long story short, she found out that I have Lyme's disease. And this is the chart that they sent me. Uh, let me just get this in where people can see. Okay, this is what it looks like, the chart that they sent me of my results. And there is all of this uh, biofilm. All this purple stuff is biofilm. And then anyway, th these other ones are like normal blood cells, but this is biofilm, the purple stuff. And then they even have these arrows um, that are actually pointing to where the infection is down in here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, arrows are pointing to where. Anyway, if you look at the whole thing, these are all normal blood cells, normal blood cells, and then this is where the infection is. Normal blood cells, infection. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, this is an actual lab, you know, port um, proving that I uh, do have Lyme's disease and that uh, my bladder pain and problems have been um, associated with having Lyme's disease. So <clears throat> basically what, from what I understand, um, a tick or a flea or a mosquito bites a person and that person becomes infected and that person can experience symptoms of all different kinds of things. There's like 40 or 50 different things. Um, but one of them is bladder pain uh, and bladder spasms, spasms of the bladder wall and the uh, pelvic floor spasms and, you know, spasms around your pelvic muscles. That's uh, something that can happen with Lyme's. So when everybody says, well, interstitial cystitis is this non-bacterial thing that just your bladder gets messed up and we don't know what to do about it. Well, I don't know if that's true because... Um, according to this doctor, she is helping a lot of people because they um, are being treated with antibiotics because you can kill limes eventually with antibiotics. It takes a while, but uh, you can start on antibiotics and it goes through stages, you know, but you can eventually get down to the, the, um, down to the nitty gritty stuff. I mean, your bladder is a perfect place for bacteria to grow and colonize. It's warm um, and it's it's a, just a great place for bugs to grow and continue to grow and and that's why those of us with IC, I guess you could call it, even though it's really the term interstitial cystitis doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I think that we have <clears throat> the pain we have because it's from bacteria. I mean your body doesn't just start hurting out of nowhere um, you know, it's, it's, I think, I believe, I'm now a believer that it is from bacteria, legitimately. Um, this report that I got 
this has all kinds of information on what the bacteria are. There's like, uh, it breaks down into the names of uh, what the actual bacteria are that they found inside of me. I mean, there's like Borrelia and um, uh, biofilm communities. So there's like um, microorganisms and they have all these different names. Um, but that's what they found in me and they're, um, it's going to be hard to kill, but I think that through antibiotic treatment long term, it's possible to have some good, uh, um, uh, some good improvement with your symptoms, and I think this is something that everybody may want to look into. Um, you can get online and Google, just put in Lyme's disease and IC, or put in Lyme's disease and bladder pain, and see what comes up there's some interesting findings to where they're linked. Now if you find that they are associated you know that means that they can be treated by antibiotics. There's very good news for it actually. So it's worth looking into just Google Lyme's disease and IC. See what you see on that and then look up a Dr. Ruth Kriz, K-R-I-Z and look at what she's doing and she's had quite a bit of success with people um, and that's what we're, we all want. I want to be successful. I want to uh, beat this thing and move on with my life. And uh, I think we all want to. So I just thought I'd share this little piece of information. So remember, Lyme's disease and interstitial cystitis. They are linked. There's a lot of research to show that they're linked. And that the pain we have in our bladders is caused from bacteria. I know that a lot of urologists and doctors try to say that's not true because they are using a different kind of culture to find the bugs, you know, that are mostly associated with urinary tract infections, but with IC and with the way that they test for the bugs through this company that Ruth works with, they look in different places and so they find bugs that are associated with bladder pain in your blood and in different places. So it's worth looking into um, you guys can get a hold of me on Facebook if you want or ask me a question or whatever. But remember, Dr. Ruth Kriz, K-R-I-Z, K-R-I-Z. And this is the study she's been doing. So I think I think it's right. I think that they could be true about this. Um, I think it makes more sense than anything else I've heard about IC because when I talk to anybody else, doctors, urologists, they are dumbfounded. They don't know what to do. They're like, oh, here, here's some some Elmeron or here's some take some Tylenol or they don't know what they're talking about so anyway um, everybody should look into that um, because I have had bladder pain obviously and then they did some blood work and look what happens now I have this chart showing that I have something very wrong in my blood and then that goes on to say that it's limes so um, this stuff isn't just coming out of nowhere. It's not like my bladder just starts hurting like hell one day for no reason. So it's happening because of something. And uh, if this is beneficial to anybody out there, I hope that it is. And that you will listen to this brief video and um, Google Dr. Ruth Kriz and see what you come up with. And uh, I'm grateful for everybody for listening. Thank you.